I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to calculate square root of perfect squares. This is in fact a practice exercise for you. You need to use mental math to calculate each square root. There are six questions here. The first one is y equals to square root of 16. Now when I am writing y equals to square root of 16, what I mean to say is that square root of 16 is a number and that number is y. So you need to find the value of y. So that means you need to find y. That is what I mean, right? So, so we have six questions. You can pause the video, answer, and then check with my solution, right? So the strategy here is we need to find two equal factors. So the step one is find two equal factors, right? So that is step one and step two is write down the answer and that should be one of the two. These two equal factors is y, the square root of the number itself, right? So that is the strategy for us. Now 16, 16 could be written as square root of 4 times 4, correct? And therefore y or the square root of 16 is equal to one of these two factors which is 4. You get an idea, right? So likewise you have to do that. So 7 times 7 is 49 and therefore square root of 49 is 7. Similarly, we get square root of 64 as 8. Square root of 81 as it is 9 times 9. So square root is 9. As far as 121 is concerned, 11 times 11 is 121. Square root of 121 is 11. For 900, you can treat this as 900. So 9 you get by 3 times 3 and 100 you get by 10 times 10. That you could write this as square root of 30 times 30. So the answer is 30. So that is how you can calculate square root of numbers. Now here are a few practice questions for you uh, where I'll have these kinds of questions. Find square root of let us say 3600. And then the last one is square root of 144. So try it out. I hope you are enjoying this process. I am Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.